using Tesla-based science to get better mileage. How to generate a plasma field with a little copper wire <laughs> and some patience. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you uh, a little something. Uh, this is based on Tesla's bifiler coil designs. Um, as I've been reflecting on magnetism, well, electricity is nothing more than controlled magnetism. So, whenever you have current flow through a wire, like your plug wires, there's a magnetic field that builds up around the wire. Okay, as it passes through, it builds up here. So what we're doing is with this is is I'm taking the plug wires and and I am wrapping them with 16 gauge wire. Now if you guys do this, let me tell you, it's taking me over an hour on each plug wire. So there is not gonna be a lot of you who's gonna want to put that kind of time into it. But, you know, if you do it while you're sitting at the couch or whatever, and you get a new set of plug wires, then you can do this this way. Now, what I used is this solid core copper wire, which is, you know, I call it speaker wire, but I ordered it, not realizing how much work it was going to be to do these plug wires. Anyway, uh, it takes over an hour. This is not much of a wire, okay? It's only like two feet long but it takes over an hour to do each one so far. And here's the first one. So you can see that the, this is the first time I've ever done this. You can see it's not perfect, but it'll do the job. The more windings you have, the more of the magnetic current you're gonna get delivered to the plug. And that's what we want. So this is gonna generate a, a much hotter spark. Now, uh, if you're going to do this, I'll tell you how I did it. All right? I don't know of a better way because they're so flexible, you can't pull them tight and wrap the wire. It won't stay. So what you have to do is take the wire. Um, I'm going to pause for a moment, and I'm going to go get a fresh roll because I'm going to start a plug wire. All right, now when I ordered this wire, I ordered three rolls. I knew one wasn't gonna be enough, maybe not even two, but that's why I ordered three. But apparently it's gonna take two rolls to get all eight plug wires done, and I'm gonna see if I've got enough left to do the coil wire as well, all right? <laughs> well, I don't know if I should or not. <laughs> because uh, the inside of the cap is not designed for the level of spark I'm talking about creating. So when you get this, when you get your wire, you find the end of it, and you do what you can to get her started here. All right. All right. So, now I'm going to straighten this out a little bit. All right. Now, let me back you up just a little bit. Well, maybe not. All right. So, what I do is, is it's got to be held down to start with. So, I start on the, on the uh, distributor cap side because I want an end sticking out. So, I just take and run a little bit of the wire this way get some extra and then I just start wrapping it like this first goal is to get it to grab if we don't you're gonna be spending a lot of time with that with that wrap spinning around the plug wire Okay, now, let's see, it should be about enough. I hope it will be. All right, so once you get it to where it's gripping, and it looks like it is, okay, it, it takes about four pushes for every wrap. That's why it takes so damn long to get this done. But when I get done, I'm going to take it, I'm going to put this end 
into the boot end where the plug goes like so and then channel the captured magnetic field to the spark plug okay now you do this this is what I found works best just take it here and you just push it and turn it push it with this finger but you push it slightly to the end that's already coiled that keeps it nice and tight and just keep doing that until you reach the end of your plug wire push it up and in and you see it produces a nice tight little coil anyway that's what I'm doing and uh, it's going to be really, really interesting on my 1988-89 uh, E350 motorhome. God bless y'all. I hope you hope you get the idea of capturing the magnetic field and focusing it on your spark plugs. Anyway, God bless y'all richly and warmly, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now. A little update. All right, everybody, I want to get in another note on these plug wires. On reflection, you know, I was saying that we're going to take and put this in up in here, but we don't need to. I'm, so I'm going to be cutting these down here and wrap it only like, like this one here. That should be enough. Anyway, I want to make sure I covered that. Brought to you by Gadget Man Technologies. Simple solutions for complex problems every day. Learn even more to make your engines run better at GadgetManGroove.com. And for something new and fantastic, go to snakeoil.wtf. You will be glad you did.